the asset database is something that most customers like a lot about Curator. Well, traditional SIEM, you need to actually add the assets manually by, you know, entering, you know, the IP address or importing from a CVSS file, which is not only tedious, but it's obsolete the minute you finish doing it because new things get added into the network constantly. What Curator does is Curator listens to the logs and to the flows and actually dynamically discover everything that is going out. Like, for example, in this demo system, it found all this particular system and, 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 and knows the operating system that's in there. Uh, if those have vulnerabilities, because uh, we added them, uh, more, more on that later, uh, via scanners as the vulnerability data. Uh, if it's a user logging into uh, a particular asset, the uh, curator picks up from the flows and the queue flows, the, the user ID and, and register that. So when I report about an IP having a particular offense, I can actually tell you which user was uh, owning that particular uh, asset or was logging into that particular asset even when you have DHCP as you can see here CCDBA and root were accessing the system in this particular uh, uh, this particular times and if we see uh, some of these uh, uh, assets have uh, here's the information that has been collected about it by the operating systems and gazillion of vulnerabilities that are in there as well as we said before, Curera discovers servers automatically. And it's actually something very nice because it can warn you about, hey, somebody put a database server there and we can actually detect it and scan it. Uh, so we can show you, hey, this particular thing that they put in there uh, is full of holes and you need to um, do something about it. Uh, and, and we do that particularly by the virtue of the flows by looking at the the protocol and the port being actually used. So for example, if we want to find uh, the let's say, DNS servers, those are typically, uh, they, they, they talk on port 53. So we can actually click here and discover servers. And Curator is actually going to uh, uh, find those that are in there. And actually, you can actually approve those. And then the rules that trigger on new DNS server found are not going to fi fire on this particular event because I approved it. It's now part of my well-known system. And as we said before, uh, many of the things that Curator gets to know is not only from this passive uh, listening, uh, but also by inputting data from other scanners. Uh, we support basically all of them or even from QVM's own scanner as well. This is uh, centric to the uh, to the whole functioning of Curator and all this data, as many other, is available uh, via the RESTful API. So if you have a CMDB, and as many people complain, CMDBs are, all, uh, are really out of date. Uh, because of the dynamic uh, nature of the environment, Curator is constantly monitoring that environment and the data that is in the asset database can even be used to, to uh, keep uh, true uh, some of the uh, CMDB data as well. 